Hey, what's up guys? Carl Gallant back with another video and today I want to talk about uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4's Day is the Summer there and plus this is mostly the uh, um, <clears throat> This is mostly the zombies portion of the, Z the days of summer and stuff like that. I never actually said this in my other video <clears throat> Mostly I just kind of like got blackout multiplayer out of the way and stuff but this is for the zombies there and this is actually pretty good there what they actually have for zombies usually zombies um <clears throat> it's the always uh, that gets the end short of the stick <laughs> in black ops 4 and black ops 4 they always get the end short of the stick when <clears throat> technically in black ops 3 we all know zombies had the rest in black ops 3 and multi multiplayer actually had this end short of the stick in black ops 3 so <clears throat> um, so, mostly for, mostly for zombies there, we finally got some stuff in zombies we never got in a long time, like, uh, uh, we got finally the perks coming back from Black Ops 3, or the, not, not, not the perks, but we got some elixirs from Black Ops 4, or Black Ops 3 to Black Ops 4 there, um, <clears throat> so we got Perkaholic back there. I think, uh, Perkaholic's a little bit nerfed versus, um, per Perkaholic's a little bit nerfed there versus, um, versus the ones from Black Ops 4, or Black Ops 3 there. Technically, you got every perk in the game in Black Ops, uh, in Black Ops, uh, 3 there. This one, I guess you have eight perks. So they, I guess the last, uh, the last perk is like not been missing and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> so that's kind of a little bit of a nerf, but it's kind of nice to see Perkaholic coming back. It, it's pretty nice to see Perkaholic coming back there in zombies and stuff. Um, <clears throat> technically, we do got a new gauntlet mode also for Ancient Evil. For Ancient Evil, there we actually have a new gauntlet mode there for Ancient Evil. Um, <clears throat> and then we got two more elixirs there. We got shopping free back, and we got um, we got the shopping free back, and we got the um, we got the shopping free back, and it's the same thing from Black Ops Three, so that's actually pretty interesting there. And uh, and then we got near death back, and then we got near death back. Well, technically for near death, and some of the maps for near death, I don't really like it because you can just revive. Mostly for the Chaos maps for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, you can actually um, you can actually pick up people with the staff there and actually keep all their perks with the staff. It, I don't know the staff got replaced for the for the uh, for it, and that kind of makes sense if the staff did got replaced for it. But the staff was much better in the uh, in the uh, Brive and stuff like that. But yeah, um, but yeah, <clears throat> so. When I think about this, honestly, this is actually pretty good for the zombies community. The first time we actually had um, content in Call of Duty Black Ops, in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies was like, I don't know when they added, uh, <clears throat> they added the gold camos there, or the gold camo, the the diamond camo, and the dark matter camo in zomb into zombies. That's the only thing we got. It's actually interesting. And zombies in a long time, and then they just left zombies alone for like <laughs> they <laughs> left zombies alone a long, long time and stuff until the days of summer actually hit. So, I'm going to say this Activision, it took you that long, it took you that long to put content into zombies, it took you that long to put content in, into zombies. The last time they actually had content. Is when they added the gold, the diamond, and the dark matter. That's the for the camos, for the camos there, into zombies, into zombies there. That's the last time uh, we actually got it. Now we actually now we have Perkaholic back, and we have Shopping Free back, and we have Near Death back from Black Ops Three. So yeah, <clears throat> um, so there is a little bit of nerf on the Near Death there. So if you, if you pick up a perkaholic there, you only can keep the four perks there. If you if you pick them up with the near death of uh, elixir, so it did got nerf from Black Ops Three. I don't know. You can survive. <clears throat> Somebody can test that out and see you can survive it, um, with near death and 
see if you, you come back with all your perks or something like that. Um, <clears throat> don't 100% know if that uh, that is actually the case and stuff. Or you come back with, like, um, you come back with uh, all your perks without losing two perks or something like that. <clears throat> we don't 100% know. <clears throat> so, yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, comment, rate, and response one to it. This is videos. We like, like, my videos. Please subscribe. Comment, rate, and response one to it. This is videos. We like, cut it out. Out of your peace.